This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 20th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Wow, Christmas is only five days away, and 2015 is coming up rapidly. Let's get right to the weather patterns, and there's a look at the uh, Trustville Skycam this morning, and we have a cloud deck over much of central Alabama. We can see that cloud deck at Gadsden, too, but it's a kind of almost a Christmassy scene with the lights of the city, which will be winking out shortly. On the weather map this morning, we have a little bit of a surface low in the Gulf of Mexico, and the rain has moved out of the area as the trough, the little shortwave trough, has moved by in the upper atmosphere, and that has allowed the rain to move to our east. The temperatures across central Alabama are generally in the uh, around the 40 degree mark this morning, and it looks like we should uh, warm up today fairly nicely into the, the 50s, which is about typical for this time of year. There's a look at the radar mosaic for the southeastern U.S., and you can see that uh, most of the rain has moved out of uh, central Alabama. It's now down across southeast Alabama. QPF-wise, it looks like we're going to have a rather wet pattern uh, for the next five days over the southeastern U.S. with this system that's moving by now and then another one that's going to come in uh, for the days right before Christmas Eve. Storm Prediction Center is not out looking any thunderstorms for day one and no severe weather is uh, out looked for days two or three. The, uh, the morning GFS uh, 06Z run this morning, and uh, there's the surface pattern and uh, GFS picking up on the fact that the rain has moved to uh, out of central Alabama and down into the southeast area. In the upper atmosphere, we see one trough go by, so for today we're coming under a weak ridging, but another trough is poised to come our way on uh, uh, on Sunday as we see that uh, trough over the central part of the country. And that should uh, keep us dry with a little bit of a wedge pattern uh, developing across uh, the uh, lower part of the Appalachians, around the southern end of the Appalachians, across Georgia. And it looks like the wedge pattern could affect uh, the eastern section, so we're bringing in another chance of rain for Sunday evening, especially over the eastern sections. On Monday, we see that a big trough is beginning to be carved out of the central part of the United States. We can see that closed low, plus there's a couple of impulses that are rotating around the western side of that closed low, and those will help to dig out a good trough. But we should be reasonably dry, although I probably will have to include some chance of uh, at least a little light rain or some um, uh, weak showers on uh, Monday. That trough really carves out on Tuesday as we see some cold air diving down into Texas and we see that that deep trough developing as the as the short wave digs into uh, Texas and uh, that should actually bring quite a wet day with po the possibility of thunderstorms as we see a surface low develop over uh, the lower Mississippi River Valley that thing really digs in beautifully and moves into the lower and uh, central Mississippi River Valley on Wednesday, Christmas Eve. And so that should we should be seeing the rain ending. But Wednesday, Christmas Eve, looks like it's going to be a day. Uh, look at the 540 thickness line diving down to the uh, Gulf Coast in Louisiana. Looks like this could be a day where the temperatures stay in the 40s, perhaps even as cold as the lower 40s. For Christmas Day, we see that that trough has moved by, and while we see the pattern weakening a little bit, it does appear that the long wave trough position is going to stay uh, focused over the eastern half of the country. So it looks like for us, uh, we should stay um, cool and dry for Christmas Day. So that means everybody who has presents that they want to get outside and use will probably do that. We, we stay dry on Friday, but we do see this long wave trough uh, becoming... Uh, situated over the eastern half of the country, and that stays that way on the 27th or Saturday, a week from today. But that should keep us pretty dry but stay on the cool side with highs probably in the 50s and maybe even only the lower 50s. Looking out into voodoo country, the, the big thing about voodoo country, as, as most uh, experienced visitors to this site know, is that we're, we look more for trends than real specifics. But the big screaming trend, as we look out around the last day of 2014, is that we're going to maintain a long wave trough position over the eastern half of the country. So that's going to maintain a cold weather pattern. And it looks like while we have a little short wave moving through the flow, it looks like we may have a little bit of a wet weather start to the first of 2015. Uh, we do maintain.
maintain that that cold look to the uh, the overall pattern. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning by 8 a.m. at least. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day. And listen, it's Christmas season. Perform one act of kindness today, at least one act of kindness. Have a great day and Godspeed.